So two days after I posted that video of how to mod Withering Waves, they went and updated the launcher again. This launcher is actually much more user friendly and easier to use, so I'm going to be going over how to get that launcher started. So let's get to it. I'll have the descriptions in the video below as well. So we're going to start off again over here. If you're just getting into modding, you're going to want to go on this link. You're going to want to download the x86 and the x64. It really helped out with the mods when I had both of them. And Withering Waves is a 64 game file, so just uh, install the installers by clicking on the link. Click on the EXEs. It will tell you to install. Mine says repair uninstall because I already have it. So install the program and then it'll ask you to restart your computer. Restart your computer and come back to the video. Next, we're going to be going on this link. And here the link has a new version which is 0.7.6. We are going to install the new package by clicking on the WWMI package zip. You will get this zip up here. Drag that zip onto your desktop and extract. And then you will have this folder. Now that we have the new mods folder, we don't have to go into the D3DX file like from the old video because that's already fixed for you. Next, we are going to go on this link. You will install the XXMI installer. Click on this link and you will get this exe installer right here install this program and then you should get this launcher so now that you got the launcher installed we will open the launcher the xxmi launcher next we're going to go to our settings on the top right and then right here where it says game folder we are going to press change because this will be blank for you when you first do this look for where you installed your Withering Waves games and look for the file that says Withering Waves Games. When you open the folder, make sure that it has client and engine. Sometimes it'll be empty and you don't want that. So click on Withering the Wave Games as the path. Next, we will go to the WWMI. You're going to put your new version of the modder on here. So it says 0.7.6. I have that saved on my desktop and we will click on that as the path and then confirm. So now that we got those steps taken care of, how do you install mods into Twitter? Right? So first off that I'm going to go over again is that you want to have two folders. One is your mod launcher. The second is your mods folder. It's because you're going to be downloading a lot of mods. The thing about the mod launcher is that you cannot have multiple mods of the same character on this mod folder because if you do that you're going to break your character and they're going to look all funky and weird so pretty much this extra mods folder that i have is pretty much to keep track of whatever mods you have because you're going to be deleting the original file and putting in the new files multiple times to change your skin mods so to get mods we're going to go on game banana find the character that you want and the mod that you want and then you just press download and then download again and then you'll get a zip drag that zip to wherever you want to keep track of your mods and press extract which i have right here once you have the mods that you want you will go into the mods folder of the launcher and you can drag the mod in here if you want to but like i said i like to be organized so i named it based off the character and i copy and i paste the mod in here once that's done, all you need to do now is just press start on the launcher. No more complicated steps from the prior video. And I'll see you in the game in a bit. And you also don't see the red text messages up here anymore like from my old video. Alright, as you can see we are now in Withering Waves and you can see that the mods are working perfectly fine with this new launcher. So in order to change mods, I'm going to go over that super quick. So we are going to go into our mod launcher folder and also our folder where we keep track of all our mods. And we are going to delete the original file from your mod launcher. And we're going to take the new file from wherever you track your mods. We're going to copy and paste it in here. After that, you just press F10. And 
we now have the new mod. So another thing to keep in mind is that if you want to change the particle effect of your animations, I'm going to go over that super quick. So we are going to go back into your mod launcher and also where you keep track of all your mods. If the mod that you're looking at has an animation effect change, you're going to go into that folder of the mod and you're going to look for the shader fixes folder. You're going to go into the shader fix folder, you're going to copy everything and then you're gonna go onto your launcher and you're gonna look for the shader fixes folder on your launcher. You're gonna click on that and you're gonna copy and paste all the files in here. All right. And then another thing I will keep in mind too is that if you were wanting to transfer the particle effects to a different skin, you're gonna have to go into that folder and look for a file that's something like this. You're gonna drag that file into your new mod that you're wanting to have the particle effects with. But pretty much after you do all that, you just press F10 again and you'll have your white particle effects. Lastly, is skin modding safe? Again, I'll go over this super quick. Yes, skin modding is safe. You're not gonna get banned for skin modding. I have been modding for years. I have never gotten banned. I've modded on Genshin, PGR, other games, and there are also plenty of YouTubers and Twitch streamers that uh, streams are mods for years and never gotten banned. The reason why I would say hide your UID, it's because you don't want to deal with the unnecessary drama because there will be unnecessary people that will report you for no reason or they just hate changes in their character. So with that said, you know, modding is a choice. If you want to mod, go for it. If you don't want to, then of course don't go for it. I hope this video helped you out and you know, enjoy the modding, have fun with the modding and if you, you know, plan on doing inappropriate things again, just don't post it on YouTube or anything like that. And I mean, if you do decide to post it, hide your UID, that's all I can go about it. So yeah, have a good one.